The Coin Saris channel is pleased to have you back. Dear everyone, Wind and colleagues have made a major announcement at XRP Labs, the cryptocurrency's primary wallet. Whenever Ledger goes pay to play, we can discuss it. First things first. Things have moved so rapidly, but the Ethereum ETF approval was the big news of the day. The political tide has turned in favor of, oh my, the money, and Gary Gensler has had much of his authority stripped away. This is absolutely mind-blowing. Later on today, we will discuss it in greater detail. However, in this video, we will focus on the timing and content of his recent announcement. He claims that the existing model cannot continue to depend on Ripple for handouts and that donations from satisfied customers cannot be sustained indefinitely. He proposes an alternative paradigm. Well, it seems like they're planning to implement fees for advanced users. I mean, come on, this guy is the largest builder on the XRP ledger, and he makes great software. Plus, he's a nice guy. His dedication to the XRP blockchain is inspiring. I wish I could criticize the guy, but I can't. What I do think, though, is that this strategy is doomed to fail spectacularly. Let me reiterate, I'm just a person with a microphone. This is just my opinion, but I believe we should aim for more users and more individuals to use the sophisticated capabilities. And for the more complex features, like MetaMask style swaps and exchanges, you might charge a fee, this would bring in hundreds of millions of dollars annually, you definitely want this to be active. Also, I get your point, at the moment, there isn't nearly as much trading activity on the XRP ledger as there is on other blockchains, so it's hard to generate the kind of volume that would be ideal for that wallet. However, I do not believe that we will achieve our goal by erecting obstacles, as that is not the sustainable route to growth and valuation. People will be less likely to use your chain now that you've added another obstacle on their path. Envision someone calling up during the next bull run and saying, you know what how can we purchase a small amount of casino coin I'm not sure how to spell it, but you can search for it on wallet, you should be able to locate it download it, and they will. Additionally, they are required to complete these features, transactions, and swaps. A monthly membership is something I'll have to take care of. Put this in my past, I'm going to Avalanche and Solana. This is ridiculous, therefore I'm going somewhere else. That's bad. People won't be motivated to join this blockchain because of that. There shouldn't be just one wallet, there aren't enough transactions to make a livelihood off of it, and there isn't enough competition, in my opinion. Were there to be four or five formidable rivals, none of them would have made this move or even brought up the topic of sustainability, instead, they would have been laser focused on maintaining and expanding their market share at the expense of all others. This is the issue I've been mentioning regarding having one entity regulating wallets, our best hope is that people will use these new functionalities to create useful applications. When a more reasonable market forms, other companies will compete head to head without charging for basic features or forcing you to subscribe to a premium service. Has to be in charge of a company to make ends meet, and he sees that there aren't enough sales happening at the moment to do so. I get it, he's a hero and has accomplished a lot, but, I don't think this is the right decision. I fear this will spell the end for the Salman wallet. It's unfortunate that he's got to run a business and do what's best for his company. The only way to ensure the long-term viability of this network and create a sustainable environment where someone can build a business with a wallet is for more people to use it. Once we reach that point, we'll have a sensible user interface that is standard across blockchains. The kind of thing that facilitates easy trades and swaps, like the one you receive with University Swaps Wallet. Someone may enter this ecosystem, compete fiercely, 
and likely capture the majority of the market share, the only question is whether or whether XRP's usefulness will lead to profitable development. I believe it will. We shall overcome any obstacle. Well, that concludes our video. When you're done, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Farewell, I will be seeing you shortly.